Uh, basically, if you think about what we're doing right now with the cars, uh, Tesla is arguably the world's biggest robotics company because our cars are like se semi-sentient robots on wheels. Um, and with uh, uh, the full self-driving computer, essentially the, the inference engine on the car, which we'll keep evolving, obviously, and uh, Dojo, uh, and all the neural nets recognizing the world, understanding how to navigate through the world, uh, it, it kind of makes sense to put that onto a humanoid form. Uh, we think we'll probably have uh, a prototype sometime next year uh, that uh, is, basically looks like this. Um, and it's intended to be friendly, of course, um, <laughs> and uh, navigate through a world uh, built for humans and uh, eliminate dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks. Um, we're setting it such that it is, um, at a mechanical level, at a physical level, uh, you can run away from it. Um, <laughs> and, and most likely overpower it. It'll be a, a light five miles an hour. You can, if you can get run faster than that, it'll be fine. It's uh, around uh, five foot eight, uh, has sort of a, a screen where the head is for useful information, um, but it's otherwise basically got the autopilot system in it, so it's uh, got cameras, got eight cameras, full self driving computer and making use of all of the same tools that we use in the car. I mean, things that I think that are really hard about uh, having a useful humanoid robot is can it navigate through the world without being expl explicitly trained? Uh, I mean, can, without explicit, like, line-by-line uh, -line instructions. Can you, can you talk to it and say, you know, please uh, pick up that bolt uh, and uh, attach it to the car with that wrench, and it should be able to do that. It should be able to, you know, please, you know, please go to the store and get me the following groceries. This, I think, will be quite, quite profound because if you say, like, what is the economy? It is, uh, at the foundation, it is labor. So what happens when there is, uh, you know, no shortage of, of labor? Um, this is why I think long term that there will need to be universal basic income. Essentially, in the future, uh, physical work will be a choice. If you, if you want to do it, you can, but you won't need to do it. Yeah, I think we can do that. Yeah.